In this video, I'm going to talk about and demonstrate PLS Predict. So, what is PLS Predict? It is essentially a way for us to determine whether our model has good predictive quality. Can we predict our variables better than average or better than random? And the way we do that is we split the data. We use a portion of it, usually the majority, as a training set where we determine the parameters that help us explain the variance in our model. And then we use the remaining portion of the data as a test. So we use the training results to predict the remaining data. And if it predicts it well, then good. If it doesn't predict it well, then our model's not very good at predicting, and so it's probably not specified correctly. This sounds a little bit like model fit, but I hesitate using that phrase whenever I'm talking about partial least squares. So how do we do this in Smart PLS 4? Well, what we do is we go to Calculate, and then select PLS Predict. There are some defaults, 10 folds, 10 repetitions. Those are fine, just keep those. Over in the PLS setup, I'm gonna keep it on path, standardized and default weights, and hit start calculation. When it's done, nothing will show up on the model. You have to go to the report, and you wanna look at the MV, Manifest Variable Summary Prediction. Now this is way better than in Smart PLS 3. Much more user-friendly. What are we looking for? Well, we're looking for green values in the Q squared predict. Anything that is above zero is considered good. And so we're doing great there. And then in the PLS SEM versus the linear model, we would like error and fit metrics that are less than the linear model. So if you're familiar with the concept of model fit, you want your proposed model, which is these two columns for us, to be an accurate depiction of the data based on the observed model. That is the model implied by the data. And in this case, we want these error values to be less than for the linear model. Again, Smart PLS 4 makes this pretty easy. It turns them green if they're less than and turns them red if they're more than. So it looks like our first order factors are good predictors with very little error when they predict our second order factor, burnout from management. Whereas ethical concerns has quite a few issues. It is not a great latent variable. The indicators do not predict it well. Management unfairness is half and half, and resource demand gap, RD, seems to be a great latent variable. And that's it. So, do we have good predictive power? Yes. Are there issues? Yes. Primarily with ethical concerns. Now, if we'd like to look at the predictive power for our latent variables, not just our manifest variables, go over here to LV Prediction Summary, Click on PLS SEM, and you can see the Q squared here should all be positive, above zero. If they are, then you have good predictive power at the inner model structural level. There is no absolute cutoff for RMSE or MAE. We just want to minimize these, but these are relative to the variable scales. So focus primarily on this Q squared predict column. Again, all values should be above zero. And if they are, that means we are doing good at predicting these variables. We're doing particularly well at predicting management unfairness and burnout from management. Those are the highest values there. Notice our exogenous latent construct, which we can see over here as unsupported boss, does not have a Q squared because it is not being predicted by any other latent factors. Well, I hope that helps.